Yo, what's up? This your boy, Chef Boudreaux, man. Today, I had to do this, but today we're going to do some smothered okra with shrimp and some pickle meat. Now, I'm going to tell you, you can use sausage or ham if you don't have pickle meat. We'll run the pickle meat down in a minute. We got a full onion right here, a whole onion. We got some chopped garlic right there. But we're going to go ahead and make this smothered okra but I didn't want to make it at my house because this is a southern dish a lot of people in Louisiana make it especially my people in New Orleans they already know about this so in order for me to pull this off I had to bring it back to the Mecca where it all started for me and who else should I get to help me do this? But this young lady who taught me everything I know. Come on, mama, for sure. Come on in. Come on, mama. I'll be back. <laughs> this is my 89 years young mother right here, Sophia DeVerney. Tell her, tell her, baby, this is what, how, how we gonna make this? How we gonna pull this off first? What we gonna do first? What you doing? We gotta chop up the whole all right, <laughs> boss me around already. Just uh, telling me what to do. Uh, okay, so what are we doing after we chop up this over? Huh? Then you're gonna put it in the oven. You're gonna put it on these okay. spray pans right here. Yes. All right. So what we doing? What we doing about putting the okra in the oven? You can either fry it in the skillet or you can put it in the oven to get the slime out. So we're basically trying to dehydrate the, the okra? Yes, just okay. to get the slime out. All right, all right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to move this board on the side. We're going we're gonna to make this happen, all right? All right. With well, this Corona, my mama, 89, she was like, well... <laughs> I had to put y'all on the step, but we could do some cooking. So she let me inside today. I just leave on the sofa uh, uh, on the uh, on the porch last night. So we're gonna just take these and put these right here. Yes. Um, not too many, right? Yes. I'm gonna spread them out kind of thin. Yes. All right. So what are we gonna do once we do that? We're gonna season the shrimp, or we just gonna leave them? Gonna season the shrimp. All right. Now, right here we got, well, you know, southern people don't know how to cook for two people. So, what we're going to do is, I got eight 12-ounce containers of oak. And I uh, cut them up, as you can see. And we're going to put them on these baking dishes that I sprayed. You can use canola olive oil, whichever. But we're going to try to stir these probably about every five minutes. I was going to put it on broil, but we're going to do it on convection, so hopefully we don't take as long cooking it, all right? Well, it's going to be a little slimy. That's okay. Fresh oil. We did cook this pickle meat in this pressure cooker. I'm gonna let my mama tell the story about the pressure cooker when we come back. All right, we're gonna load these in. I'm gonna give y'all the approximate time once it comes out. How much, how many times you got to stir this? We're gonna stir this probably about every since it's all regular bake at 450. We're just gonna try to come back every five to ten minutes to stir it up until we all dry it out. All right, what's up, man? This Chef Boudreaux I'm back with my princess, my mama. She all shy and stuff. Mama, you shy? Yes. <laughs> well, at least I sorry. So, I took this, uh, this is pickled pork that's been put in the brine for about two, three days. And all we did was put it in this pressure cooker. My mom has probably about three pressure cookers. Mommy, you can't tell a story about the pressure cooker? You tell it. It was you. You tell it. <laughs> oh, real quick. My mom had this brand new fresh out the box, man. And we had a lot of people over and we cooked some beans, they ate all that. Kirk, and she was like, Kirk, look, we can put some beans in the pressure cooker. Hurry up and make some. So first time, able to get it off, no problem. 
Second time it was tight, tight, tight. Boy, that sucker, it bust open and burned, third degree burn his whole arm, my chest. <laughs> I went to the doctor, the hospital, got all the stuff. When I got back, I said, come on, mama, let's finish cooking these beans. She said, well, we gonna have to cook it in the regular pot. I said, well, what a, what a, what a pressure cooker. My mama took that brand new pressure cooker and threw it away. I said, mama, what you throw it away for? She said, that thing hurt my baby. He had to get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mama, let's hurry up. And it was only because he was hard-headed and didn't listen. I told him to put all that stuff in there. My mama, I ain't actually tell that part of the story. Well, I'm telling the truth. Oh. All right, so what we gonna do next? Okay, you cook it. So what you're gonna do is put the okra in the pot. Okay. First, you gotta turn the pan up. Turn it up. Well, good thing you knew that, huh? <laughs> oh, you batting a thousand things, huh? All right. How much oil? About uh, a tablespoon? About a quarter. Four cup? That's a lot of oil, Mama. We're going to need it? I no, guess that's so. good. That's good. Because I forgot to put oil on the phone. So, all right. We got about three, three to four tablespoons of uh, oil. So, we're going to do the okra first or we're going to do the onion? We're going to do the onions. And garlic? No. Just the onion first? Just the onion. We're going to sweat the onion? Yes. All right. All right, so we're going to sweat these onions real quick. We're going to crank this up a little more. We're going to sweat these veggies. And uh, render these onions down. Then you put the okra in. So we're going to put the okra in right now? Yes. All right. So basically, the okra is almost cooked. We're just cooking it down? Yes. Alright, you get your pot hold and stir the pot. So we're cooking, cooking at a, like a high fire, kind of get it together first. Yes. Then we're going to lower it down. Yes. Alright. Alright, we got this going now. Can we lower it down a little bit? Lower it down a little bit to about a medium. Yes. Medium fire. Cooking with gas, Sophia. I'm about to take. This garlic, fresh chopped garlic. My mama do not buy minced garlic. She chopped her garlic because she made me chop. Anyway, so I'm going to add the pickle. This is the tips part of the pork. We're going to add that in there. What is it, mama? Pickle pork. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this fry down some more. And we want to try, we want to cook this until you see the seeds of the okra turn pink. As you can see, ain't no slime in that. Ain't, ain't no slime in that. Ain't no slime in that. So feel you, you did your thing, girl. Now all we gotta do, I put the shrimp in the refrigerator so it can stay refrigerated. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna eat this, we eat this over some rice. You can have a little grill with some smothered chicken or whatever, but Smothered okra just with rice. We from New Orleans, man. We eat rice with everything. We got dirty rice. We got jambalaya with rice. We got red beans and rice. We got gumbo with rice. We got shrimp creole with rice. We eat rice with rice. That's how we get down. Hey, there, Emma. Right. All right. So we're going to let this cook down a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and saute these shrimp before we add them into the okra. The okra is looking pretty fine right here. We just got it sitting over here on the lower fire. So we got some fresh peeled and deveined Louisiana shrimp. So just like I told y'all on my video, my mama said, oh, you're going to cook it? But then she step in and say, move out the way because I'm moving too slow. Is that right, mama? Right. Okay. We stand on the side. And how much salt and pepper you put in there? Oh, did you add salt and pepper? Yes, I did. I okay. added salt and pepper. So you added salt and pepper and what else? That's and it? A little garlic powder. A little garlic powder, that's it. That's it. Nothing else. Yeah. So what we gonna what we gonna season this with? Are we gonna just let the season from the shrimp season it? Or are we gonna add a little salt and maybe a little kick? We gotta taste it first. 
Okay, so you want me to taste it while you're doing that? No, wait till I put the shrimp in and then taste it. How many minutes? I think, what? Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to cook the rest of the way again, right? Right, so we can put it in it, huh? Yeah, well, it's almost complete. Okay. So, you want to add it in there? Well, I'll let you do that part. All right. I'm going to see it add the shrimp. She get upset when the fire ain't all the way uh, under the skillet of the pot. How do you use the spatula? I'm gonna, cause I don't want that water in. Oh. Turn this off. So we'll add the shrimp in here. Then we're gonna let that cook the rest of the way. As you can see, we like open with our shrimp. Instead of shrimp with our open. Okay. Try to hurry up and get this all out of here. So we can sit down and eat. Alright guys. I say, all right, people. Let me put this over here. Oh, this is hot. Okay, mom, it's time to season, right? I'll mix this up a little bit, and then we're gonna season it. Turn this on a little bit. Get on a medium low. So we're gonna season this with mom. A little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. What else we gonna do? You like. Slap your mama, but I'm glad it's gone in the pot. Well, I wasn't gonna slap you, mama. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. We're gonna do the <laughs> we're gonna do the slap your mama a little spicy. Yes. All right. We're gonna do the spicy. So this is a fourth a teaspoon, and we don't measure, so we're gonna go so, uh, salt to taste. We're going to add just a little bit. Because if you add too much, can't take it back. Alright, so that's about, uh, probably about another quarter teaspoon or so. And a little pepper. That's it. So now we're going to taste this. Well, we're going to let it cook for about another two minutes. And we're going to come back and taste it and see what it's working with. And we're going to just add this on a bed of rice. I'm telling you. This is good eating. This is some good eating, I promise you. All right, man, we all set and ready to go. We're gonna put this rice on this plate. Good. It's gonna be in my mind, so we're gonna taste this together. So, sit that right here. This ratio is so good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now I know that's a lot on the plate. But it's near my mama eat. So mom, why don't you reach in that drawer over there? Right here and, and, and get your fork and tell you take tell, tell you something what you're working with. From the slap your mama. Salt, pepper, little garlic powder, man, goes a long way. It's Chef Bujo, man. You already know how I get down. I'm out, peace. 
where you think he got it from, where you get it from. 